Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here. Just gonna do a quick review on a new handgun I picked up the other day. And it's this Taurus Model 85 uh, in 38 Special. It's rated for plus P's. And uh, it comes in this box, you know, just kind of a standard black Taurus cardboard box. And you open it up. It's got these keys for the locking mechanism. Uh, it doesn't have a lock itself, uh, but uh, the uh, gun has an internal lock, so uh, that's, you know, kind of a way of around uh, putting an actual padlock in the box. So, uh, you know, I'm never going to use this, but whatever. Uh, so it comes with two keys. Comes with some paperwork. This is uh, some stuff you have to mail in for the warranty. If you want the warranty, um, you have uh, 10 days from the time you... Uh, purchase the gun to uh, send this in so uh, I'll probably fill it out and uh, send it in <clears throat> and uh, comes with this um, you know do not return firearms to the dealer um, you know just kind of a little piece of paper comes with your manual of course tells you everything that you need to know about the uh, the revolver so uh, you know just standard manual um, and then the gun itself, and it comes in this little bag, um, which is kind of cool, I guess. Keep it from getting scratched up. Um, you know, it says carry on on it. So that's kind of cool. Um, and that's everything that comes in the box. So I'll put everything in there, pull the box aside, and uh, we'll get on with the gun. Now, uh, this is basically a copy of a Smith & Wesson J-Frame. Uh, Taurus has the rights to uh, Smith & Wesson's revolvers, and uh, so they, they uh, do have the right to um, manufacture um, copies of Smith & Wesson revolvers. Cause they, a long time ago, they used to be... Um, partners or, or whatever and then they split off and so Smith & Wesson got to our uh, Taurus got to uh, still make revolvers and of course the five shot revolver um, it is clear obviously um, have your little ejector right there um, and of course when I bought it it had a little orange ring in here to show you that it's clear I uh, took it out at the uh, at the gun store to look at the gun and I forgot to put it back in so uh, sorry Heartland I uh, left a little bit of trash in your store uh, my fault um, has some rubber grips with the uh, the Taurus bowl um, on on the grips I'm not really you know too sure about these grips they're a little sticky actually you know you uh, hold them and uh, you know, just a little bit sticky. You know, you can feel a little, little stickiness when you uh, lift up your fingers. Uh, I don't know if that can be cleaned off or what. Um, if I keep this gun for an extended, you know, period of time, I might actually take these grips off and uh, put uh, uh, some wood grips on there. Um, but I don't know. Now uh, this gun's all stainless steel. Uh, you know. The, the Model 85 comes in lots of different variations. There's the ultralight model, which is like aluminum, you know, the aluminum frame, and then there's the poly, poly light or something, um, where, you know, it's, it's made out of, the frame's made out of polymer or plastic, kind of like a Ruger LCR. Um, but honestly, the Ruger LCR is the only polymer framed revolver that I'm interested in, so, um, not a not a big fan of the Taurus polymer frame revolvers, um, but it's essentially the same revolver. And of course, it's the uh, it's got a hammer, so it's uh, double action and single action, which I like. I like having an external hammer for you know just the um, optional the option of having single action, and it's a real light single action pull. And uh, the double action is actually not that bad, you know. Um, I'm no I'm no trigger expert, but you know this is a better double action trigger than uh, what's on my nine millimeter. Um, then again, on the nine millimeter, you only have to pull that one time 
and uh, from then on out, it's you know just single action. Um, but you know, I, I'm I don't, not one to complain either way. Um, this little little black circle here, this is for the lock. You know those keys I was talking about. You uh, stick the key in, turn it, and then you can only pull the the hammer back like you know this far or something. And it does have a transfer bar. I don't know if the lighting will really pick it up very well, but there's a transfer bar in here, kind of like a Ruger, well, you know, just like a Ruger revolver. Uh, so it makes it very safe, you know, if, if, the, if you drop it on the hammer, it's not gonna go off unless, you know, the hammer's all the way back and the trigger is pulled till the hammer goes all the way forward. Um, so that's good. Let's see, is there anything else that I really need to show you? Um, again, it's just like a Smith & Wesson, so it'll take down pretty much exactly like a Smith & Wesson. Of course, the fit and finish uh, are not of Smith & Wesson quality, but this was um, a $300 you know, revolver versus a Smith & Wesson be like you know, five, $600 or you know, whatever those are going for these days you know, uh, for this you know, size model, you know, the J-frame. Um, and speaking of price, uh, I got this at Bud's Gun Shop. It was, you know, pretty much right at $300. Um, I did the, this was one of the guns on the 180 day layaway program, um, at least at the time that I bought it, or I, uh, you know, put it on layaway, of course. Um, so I had 180 days to pay it off. I think I only took like 100 days to pay it off. Not that I really needed 100 days to, you know, to pay it off. I could have paid it off, you know, right then and there, but I do like the idea of only having to put down a little bit of money at a time. You only got to put down 10% um, for your first payment, and then each subsequent payment only has to be $25, or it has to be at least $25, uh, but it could be more. It could be, what you know, whatever you want it until uh, you get the, um, you know, the full payment. And I also got the insurance uh, on the gun, you know, for the shipping, it was only three dollars. It's you know only one percent of the total cost of the gun. So, you know, for three dollars, I figure, you know, what the hell, I'll get it, and uh, it covers if the gun gets lost or broken or stolen or whatever, and uh, you get your uh, full refund. Um, it, you know, I so that's good. Um, but yeah, all the controls. Well, I mean, I guess there's really only a couple of controls. Uh, are, you know, basic Smith & Wesson. You have your release right here. And I'm sorry I'm not really at a very more convenient angle. Let me try to get behind the camera. Um, just kind of the way I'm set up here. Uh, you know, your you know, cylinder release, you push forward just like a Smith & Wesson. And uh, your ejector, which is, you know, pretty standard on all double action revolvers. And of course, your uh, trigger and your hammer, all very standard, you know, nothing super special about this revolver. It's uh, it's actually a very basic revolver, which, you know, I, you know that's what I like. Uh, the only thing really special about it is that lock. You know, Smith & Wesson puts their locks uh, up, you know, above the, the release. Um, Taurus puts their lock on the hammer. Anyway, uh, ooh, put it up here. <laughs> Um, not a bad deal for $300, uh, this is a, makes a good carry gun, um, I haven't taken it out to the range yet, but I assume it'll perform just like, uh, any other revolver will. Again, it's not a Smith & Wesson, so it's not going to be as smooth as a Smith & Wesson, but, you know, it's kind of hard to mess up a revolver, really. Um, and, uh, you know, the... Cylinder release, it's not uh, super smooth or whatever, but I'll probably clean it up and oil it up a little bit, you know, make it a little bit smoother before I actually take it out to the range. Um, but yeah, so that's only like my, that's only my second uh, center fire pistol that I ever bought. The first one being my 9mm, now I got this, and uh, I do plan on getting another nine millimeter soon with uh, some money that some people that some people owe me. So I'll get another nine millimeter and uh, I'll start you know growing my pistol collection. Um, but for now, it's pretty much just this my nine millimeter and my 22, which is you know perfectly fine. 
But anyway, that's the Taurus Model 85 38 Special Plus P, uh, all stainless steel model. Uh, and again, I, I wanted it because it was all stainless steel. This is the only uh, model that they had on the layaway program, which is awesome because I you know, don't have any other stainless steel guns and I wanted a stainless steel gun. So uh, I went and, and jumped on that deal. Anyway, that's the Model 85. Subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook. I'm Redneck Mini 14, and until next time, be safe.